Now that we've spent some time on the landing page, the next step is to learn about a course. You would click on the class or the course from your landing page and this is where it will hit. It will open up in announcements on that specific class or course. Um, on the right hand side, once you log in, where it says announcements, this is going to be like your content area. So as you click on each page on the left, the content will change on the right hand side. You will notice on the very left hand side is a left sidebar. It has some default pages for you to already set up. So we're going to look at some of those default pages that are already set up. The very first one is the course news. This is where you're going to have your announcements that you post. Below that is the calendar. The calendar is going to have major assessments or project due dates that you have coming up that the learners need to be aware of and also the parents as well. Down below that is the Learning Hub. The Learning Hub is going to have your unit content information and instructional resources. So this is really where the meat of everything is going to be. Down below that, there is a discussion board. This is just a commonly used feature within Blackboard that you might be utilizing. Below discussion board is your contact info. This is going to have your phone number, your email address, your Twitter handle if you're on Twitter, or other important contact information. Below that is course info and links. This is going to have your syllabus, tutoring times, and course related information. The last one you'll see on this navigation is the help. This actually takes you to student help. So whenever your students are in the class, if they click on that, it's going to take them to a fantastic website with a lot of helpful information for them. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Learning Hub and I'm going to click inside a few of a little bit of the content that we have added in. And you'll notice that as we move into more of the content, towards the top up here, you're going to see the breadcrumb trail. This is going to allow you to navigate around inside of Blackboard a little bit faster whenever you get into different components. Blackboard recommends that you use the breadcrumb trail as opposed to the arrows in the browser. So if I'm in getting started and I want to go back to the Learning Hub, I can quickly just click on Learning Hub and it'll take me back. Or I could have gone back to the Blackboard 101. If you notice here on the Learning Hub, you see that Principal's Intro to Blackboard is in color, where Blackboard 101 and Required Informational videos are grayed out. That's because the two that are grayed out are actually not available for students right now. You as the teacher have the choice on what courses and what information your kids can see at one time. So you can actually go in, start a course or start a piece of content and then not share it with them until it's 100% ready. Now let's say you're looking at it and you're like, what does this actually look like for the kids? There is an edit mode button that you can use. It's in the top left hand corner where it says edit mode is on. So right now your edit mode is on. You're able to edit and make changes and do what you want. If you click on it, it'll change edit mode to off and then you will get to see exactly what the kids see. So now you notice that Blackboard 101 and those informational videos are gone. They're not gone, they're just not, um, they're just not in a place where the kids can see it. So if you're ready to make more changes, just click on that edit mode again, that button, it will go back to edit mode on and then you'll see your courses that are not available for kids to see yet.